So it's currently December 27th and we're only a couple days away from the new year. And what's absolutely mind blowing is the fact that we already got news about Call of Duty 2025 and we're not even in 2024. Heck, we haven't even got Call of Duty 2024 yet, which is set to be Call of Duty Black Ops Gulf Gore. It's going to be set in the 90s or something. And I think we're going to be following the original crew, Hudson, Woods and Mason, obviously. And, you know, it's crazy to me that the fact that Call of Duty always just seems to be getting leaked and leaked. And so this information is going to be coming from Insider Gaming. They are credible for a few things. And it's actually mind blowing that we already got an exclusive. Call of Duty 2025 is a semi-futuristic Black Ops 2 sequel. So this new game, which is set to be coming out in 2025, which is going to be following the same pattern as Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. I guess Call of Duty Gulf War will be coming out in 2024 and Call of Duty Black Ops 2025 is going to be a semi-futuristic uh, Black Ops 2 sequel. Don't get me wrong though, I'm not complaining about this news. It just sucks that these developers who work pretty hard on these games are going to be getting stretched over the next couple years. And this is something I'm sure is not going to slow down for a long time. I know Call of Duty is one of those gaming franchises that are just going to push out games, push out games, and the quality is going to be going under and under and under. And that's what sucks, man. I mean, I would like them to just slow down the series here and there, maybe drop a game every other couple of years because... I mean, the quality of these games, guys, is kind of suffering because of this, you know? I get that they have a three-year uh, development cycle, and apparently for Call of Duty Gulf War, which is Call of Duty 2024, they actually got four years of development time, which is pretty good, actually, and it's, it's all really good. This is good news, right? I just hope the development studio who is doing Call of Duty 2025 isn't, you know, pushed back too hard now with all this. But it's currently known under the codename Saturn. Insider Gaming has learned from multiple sources uh, that Call of Duty 2025 is set to take players back to the future. So this is where it gets a little wild. Insider Gaming understands that Call of Duty 2025 is currently in development as a direct sequel to Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Being set around 2030, Black Ops 2 is set in 2025 so it's a five-year gap and as such fans should expect the return of some fan favorite protagonists as the team faces a new villain following the death of menendez menendez has to be a top tier call of duty villain while we're on the topic of menendez guys unfortunately as i'm making this video uh the voice actor for menendez has actually passed away passed away at the age of 56 his name was kamar de los reyes and he played raul menendez in black ops 2 black ops 4 and in vanguard rest in peace to him and my condolences go out to his family i wasn't originally going to put this in the video but i thought it would be appropriate especially because we're talking about call of duty black ops 2's villain and how it could be integrated into the next call of duty in 2025 and how this changes it all right guys getting back to the topic at hand apparently there is set to be black ops 2 remastered maps and it will be coming to the game and recent plans and and the scope of the game have changed significantly. Previously, the intention was to have all of Black Ops 2 remastered maps released on launch, similar to how Modern Warfare 2's 2009 maps have came back in Modern Warfare 3. However, the current plan now is to launch with new maps and remaster maps in conjunction. Although only one source had commented on the change, it is speculated that the game was likely in response to widespread fan criticism that painted Modern Warfare 3 as a glorified DLC to its 2022 predecessor. To kind of end off the information that we have received, uh, these are the last couple of details that they do mention and it is speaking on the other specific details on Call of Duty 2025 which are heavily in flux due to the game's early stage of development 22 months away at the time of this writing. It's understood that the game is also slated to have an overhaul to its movement system, the return of a classic pick 10 system and the gunfight game mode and another year of round based zombies it's currently unclear if the carry forward from call of duty 2024 named 
Black Ops, Gulf War will be incorporated due to the significant time jump and change to the game's overall strategy. Let's be direct about this, guys. I mean, why are we going to be getting two Black Ops games back to back? I mean, for some people, that's pretty exciting. For me, I want a game where I can grind for, let's say, two years. And all the content that I've unlocked, yeah, I would love for it to transfer to the next game. But even all the content that I've purchased for Modern Warfare 2 that have transferred over to Modern Warfare 3, I don't think that's going to transfer into the next Call of Duty. And it's pretty pointless. I mean, I get it. It's Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 3. It's going to be transferring over. But, you know, Call of Duty Black Ops Gulf War to Call of Duty Black Ops 2025. I don't think Pick or Carry Forward is going to be transferring over. That's a quite unfortunate, guys. I mean... I really hope Xbox steps in here and kind of reevaluates what's happening with the franchise because look man, I would love, absolutely love two Black Ops games back to back this year and then the year that follows. But I mean, at the end of the day guys, it's only going to tell by time, you know, time will tell how this does. I mean, if Call of Duty is as strong as it is, I'm pretty sure it's going to sell like crazy. I mean, if they're going to get another game which that follows the next year, it's going to sell like crazy. I mean, Call of Duty is a household name at this point. I mean, it's one of the best selling games every single year. I think it's the, the actually the best selling game every single year. But like I said, the biggest thing that I'm just worried about is the quality of these games game i was gonna say these games but i mean the quality of these games are going to suffer because of the development time i mean it just sucks but i mean it is what it is i would love to hear what you guys think about this i'm not here to complain or anything but yeah guys that's gonna have to wrap up today's video i hope you guys definitely did enjoy and i will catch you guys in the next one if you guys did enjoy please drop me a like subscribe if you guys are new and other than that guys i'll catch you guys later peace out